Today I want to show you how to bake Kaisersemmeln. Kaisersemmeln are a kind of rolls. They have a very specific shape. They taste amazing. I absolutely love them. They are very typical for the south of Germany, but also eaten in other parts of Germany. For today's recipe I need 400 gram of regular all-purpose flour, I also need 8 gram of salt, 15 gram of butter, um, 5 gram of sugar, 15 gram of fresh yeast. It's best if you use fresh yeast but um, yeah, lots of people have trouble to get uh, fresh yeast and it's not easy for me either. So if you have to use a dried yeast instead you can use an entire package for that. Uh, so these little pouches, you know. Um, also you need 10 gram of um, malted barley flour. So I got this malted barley flour from Amazon. It's very good. You need this for the taste and also for the color of your rolls. So don't leave this out, it's important. And um, you also need 190 milliliter of water and 50 milliliter of milk. And you also need some dusting uh, flour, which is nothing else than 50% uh, of flour and 50% of cornstarch. So you mix these two things together. You will need that later in the recipe, it's not going into the dough, but you will definitely need it. Not mandatory, but helpful is if you have a digital thermometer, because the water needs to have a certain temperature of 22 degrees Celsius or like um, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, to get started I first put the flour into the large bowl. I also add the malt. I add the butter. The butter is like room temperature, so it's, it's a little soft. Oops. Okay, then I um, add the salt all around. I also add the sugar, now I add the yeast, also the milk, Oops. and the water. Okay, so now I will knead this for about three minutes at the lowest speed that my machine has and then I will increase the speed to medium speed and let it knead for about nine to ten minutes. So you can see that this dough has become very nice and smooth and now it has to rest and before I let it rest I just move it a little bit to the center all together into one big chunk and I put a little bit of flour on top and I cover it with a clean kitchen towel and let it rest at room temperature for 20 minutes now. After 20 minutes your dough should be a little larger than before. It doesn't have to double its size during this time. And if you're using dried yeast, um, it might take a little longer with the resting time. Okay, so now here I have my dough. And now I have to divide this into seven portions of the same size. For that I'm using my scale. And uh, each of these rolls should have about 75 gram, so I will have to weigh that now. That's a little bit too much. Okay, 76, 70, yeah, that's about okay. And um, I put this aside, I put a little bit of flour on it. Now I continue to do this with the other dough. 
So now I've divided my dough into nine pieces and what I want to do now is I want to um, create a sphere shape and also at the same time create some tension in the dough. And to accomplish that I put this dough down and I use my hand and with the pressure of the weight of my body basically I give it like some movements. Uh, circular movements and then I turn my hands into some sort of claw and get this um, in the same movement of rolling it in a, in a circular um, kind of motion into this nice little um, shape and then I put it into my dust flower that I explained at the beginning of the video is basically 50% uh, of cornstarch and 50% of flour. And I will continue to do the same thing with all the dough pieces that I have. And then I'll show you where to get from there. So now that I have shaped all of my portions into spheres, I let them rest again for 10 to 15 minutes and for that time I will cover them with some linen. Now after 15 minutes, this is what they look like. So they are a little larger than they were before, but I'm not done with shaping them. So as I said, they have a very specific shape and to, to get this shape, um, you have to kind of fold these rolls. Let me show you how that works. So I take one of these doughs and first I put them into the dusting flour again. And so now I, I use my hand and make this flat to about the size of my palm. And then I put the thumb of my left hand to the center of this pancake, <laughs> let's call it pancake, and I move the, um, the side over behind my thumb and press it down here. And then I make kind of a karate movement <laughs> and I get a, like a corner here and I take the corner and put it next to my thumb Again, I make this karate movement, put this next to my thumb, and I do this one, two, three, four times. And the fifth time, stay there. The fifth time, I move my thumb out of this corner and move the last corner in here, pinch this a little bit. Okay, and then I put it with the side down onto my fabric here. Okay, so let's do the next one. So I press it flat, take my thumb, put this over, make the karate movement again. Four. And number five goes right in here. Pinch this a little bit and face down onto my linen. Again, my thumb. I put this over, press it down. One, two, three, Four, and number five goes right in here. And it doesn't have to be perfect.
So, and now I have shaped all nine of my rolls and I will cover them again with my linen and now I let them rest for 30 minutes. So while these rolls were resting and growing, uh, I prepared the oven. I set the oven to 428 degrees, which is 220 degrees Celsius. So um, I also put a pan with some rocks into the oven. You probably know this from my other videos about rolls. Um, I can show it to you a little later when the rolls go into the oven. Um, but now first I want to arrange the rolls on my baking sheet and um, for that I will just carefully remove them and place them on the baking sheet. like this and they need a little bit of distance because they will become larger during the baking process. Okay. And I've also prepared a spray bottle with water. This is just simple water and I make them really wet now. So I just do it like this. And sometimes people um, put some poppy seeds or sesame seeds on top of these rolls. You can decide that if you want to do it. I'll just leave them as they are. And now they will go into the oven. So here's the oven and I will put my rolls on the middle rack. Right? And I will pour this out here in my baking pan with the rocks. And I pour 50 milliliter of water onto these rocks. What you can also do instead of that is just spray some water on the sides of your own oven. What you want to create is a lot of steam. And this steam will help these rolls to rise and to become really crisp. And I will bake these rolls now for, let's say, 20 minutes, but I'll also have an eye on them and see how they grow and what the color is like so that I can um, take them out if they are done earlier than that. So time is almost up and I can see that my rolls have a very nice color already. I will quickly open the oven and release some of the steam. And then I close it for another minute and then I will take out my rolls. Now I really hope you like this video and the rolls, they are so delicious. Um, if you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up, definitely try to bake them. I put a link to Amazon uh, below this video in the info box and uh, so you can order it if you don't have it yet. And yeah, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you in my next video. Mm. This is one happy German here. <laughs> mm -hmm.